Come on, go on, onto my flip flop. Good morning folks, welcome to Brazil where I can tell you what, winter has definitely come back with force. Must have dropped it down below 20 degrees which is really comfortable actually, I'm not too hot, I'm not sweating. Grey skies though, no sunshine, not any weather for beach. Uh, I'm going to go to the bakery right now and get some breakfast. I get to do that every day of the week but I don't usually get the chance so I'm quite happy about that this morning. Let's look at that grey skies. It's awesome to go and get some fresh stuff for breakfast every morning, you can do it. Folks, I've decided the weather is cool enough outside to wear a jacket and jeans, all the whole work. Feel cold air coming through the window out there and it is properly cool. I don't remember last week I did a video with Bianca about cooking and going buying fresh products and all that. Well, we are going back to the market. It's quite late at the moment so we might have missed the best of it. But we're going to go back to the market and pick up some bits and pieces so I can get cooking myself. I'm not in a great mood today and this traffic is not helping. Things just haven't went the way I planned them earlier on. We never really got much done, we never really left the house because jobs came they weren't expecting and all that kind of stuff. And now it looks like we're going to miss the market so I'm going to miss getting the best of the fruit and vegetables. So sad. Hopefully there's something left for us. Just like I thought, we missed the best of the tomatoes. The ones we got were kind of green, but what it is, I'm gonna go home now. By the way, the food that we just got at the end there is called tapioca. You probably would have seen in the Amazon videos that we did that we were eating tapioca for breakfast quite a lot. With that, they make it like into a kind of sandwich there and we're gonna have that at home for dinner. Really, really good. Let's take over our bling shoes. They're gold. So unfortunately our tomatoes are not the best from the market. We've just got there too late. You need to get there early if you wanna get the good stuff. I think next time I'm gonna try and get there if you were before, but before we have our tapio cart, I think I'm going to go for a little cycle because I just need to keep it up and it's already quite late and if I don't go now, so I'll go, I'm going to have a little yogurt first and then head out. Get events on the beach here at night, something different. Apparently, they're inaugurating a statue of a violinist. That big dog was furious, he doesn't like the skateboards, I think. It's on not focused, go. <laughs> it's focused now. Come on, go on, onto my flip flop. It's gonna fly on me. Watching a Ben Brown vlog on TV and this massive beetle came from nowhere. I'm trying to get it, like, to get onto my flip flop here. Come on, come on, onto my flip flop. It's terrorizing us in the house, this little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? It's on the wall. Sean! I'm going to put the fan on. Okay, so it looks like it's settled up there on the top of this fan. Ticker thinks putting the fan on is a good idea. Where is it? It's not come off. <laughs> no, it's on the right of his life. Go off again. It's stuck on the fan and the fan is going to run really fast. It's going to get dizzy. Ah! Where did it go? 
It came off. It's behind the TV. Oh, it's down here, shit. The beetle came off the fan at force. <laughs> now fix it dizzy. It's down there. Behind the plugs. I need to get this thing out of the house. That's what happens when you live in Brazil. Tropical country, you get all sorts of massive beetles and stuff flying in your house. Oh. Wait, focus on the beetle. <laughs> it's gonna fly away. I'm gonna be pissed Is it focused? Off. Yeah, no. I wanna do like a... We're out on the balcony. We're on the balcony. Bye. Can't close the door. I'm gonna release them over the edge of the balcony. The shoes, look at them. Look at the size, the big green thing. I feel bad almost that we put Sean, them go! Sean, move like that. Do, 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 do. You just wanna go. Is it still there? Yeah. <laughs> still there, I can see it. I was sitting there watching vlogs on the PlayStation, this massive beetle flew in and Tech and my wife is terrified of any kind of insects and animals. Go wash your hands! I'm gonna wash my hands. I don't actually mind beetles when they come in the house, they're not that bad. They're not gonna hurt anyone. What I do mind is the mosquitoes, they are awful things. So our tapioca is now cold because we've been for a cycle since we came back home. Uh, we're gonna put it in the microwave and heat up a bit. Okay, so I need to get this bottle up on there. If there's a job I hate doing in the house more than any, it's doing the water. I don't know why, it's just really annoying. It's like a really boring job. Just notice, this is kind of like the same beetle that came into the house earlier. <laughs> I should be able to scare tackle with it. That's an idea. While I'm sitting here filling up the water bottles, I just wanted to talk about the tapioca that we were eating earlier because it's a real Brazilian uh, speciality. It's something that you don't really find anywhere else, I don't think. Uh, and it's made from the starch of cassava flour. Again, it's a root plant, that, something that's quite specialised in Brazil. You don't really see that anywhere else. So this white powder, they make it into a kind of flour and turn it into this uh, tapioca. They make lots of other things with it as well. And it becomes like a staple diet and it's actually a good bread substitute. It's very low in fat, so it's good for losing weight. But yeah, tapioca is really nice. I enjoy it, especially when you have really good healthy fillings. Just something quite unique to Brazil. Those of you guys who are not from Brazil, um, I thought you might be interested to, to know about that. And if you ever come to Brazil, make sure you try it. It's a bit different and I think you're going to enjoy it. But anyway, I am signing off my vlog here tonight. Uh, yeah, not much going on in the last few days, just to kind of prove that it's not a rock and roll lifestyle all the time. Um, but I will catch you again tomorrow, so I hope you have a good night and see you then. Bye.